variables that affect the study of Mirza and Hamid in 1994 revealed that primary sections of middle and high schools were most effective in promoting cognitive achievement and molding students' behavior. So this study, which was done in 1994, proves that the primary age is the age where the students can be molded in order to have the skills of creativity. The study proves that those schools who have the middle and the secondary school sections, when they compare the cognitive skills and achievement amongst their students in the primary, middle and secondary section, they find that this is a development which takes place in the primary age. So that means at that stage, it is very important for the students to be attending schools. Normally such schools, which have all the three sections in the school, are more established than the ones which are just running the primary sections because they do not have more exposure of the teachers in the school. It is just a primary section and probably it is a very small section and ideally speaking, there should be a lot of development in the cognitive achievement and the molding of students' skills and behavior. However, according to this study of Mirza and Hamid in 1994, it has been proved that schools who have all the three sections can probably compare the capabilities of the students coming from different sections. And therefore, because of that, they can see that their children who come to the middle school after passing the primary school have already developed the cognitive skills and have molded their behavior. And thus, they can, in one way, appreciate the, the professional attitudes of the teachers in the primary section. Also, it is compulsory to have teachers qualified and professionally trained in the primary sections because that is the age when the students are going to learn everything from their teachers. They have less exposure of other factors which can help development in their personality and growth in their educational system. Therefore, it is important that the teachers who are in the primary section are caring and do know about the learning needs of their students. Most of the time, there are primary schools which are private primary schools and the need for the student is taken care of. In the government primary schools, usually the schools are also attached to the middle schools or the secondary schools. It has to be taken care of that if the primary school is working along with the middle school and the secondary school in the same building, then the needs of the primary school students need to be taken care of because they will be different from the needs of the middle school and the secondary school. Also, the safety regulations for the primary school need to be more strict and according to the requirement of the students because they are very young and at a tender age and all the equipment that is in their playground or in the classroom needs to be according to their age. And it has also to be seen that there are no risks involved in the equipment that they are using in their sports or in their classroom. There should be a complete checkup for that that the tables and the chairs, they do not have nails in them. There are other things which need to be taken care of by some organizational structure who take care that for the primary school children, all the health and uh, all the risks factors are taken care of. And there is also a nurse in the school because they are at a very young age and sometimes they will not be able to know what is happening. Sometimes there might be an injury, so the first aid has to be provided as well. So all the cognitive achievement that is taking place according to 
the study of Mirza and Hamid is taking place in the primary school section. Therefore, the development of the child, that means, is going to take place at that age and the school authorities need to be very careful and concerned about the development of the primary school children.